Printing something like this at a PETG is guaranteed to make a mess out of your nozzle, and I have just a solution. Here, I've got a tray that I'm going to print that holds a bunch of Weira drivers, and it's even got some little spots here where you can put screws if you're disassembling something and you need to keep things kind of organized. The real problem areas are the spots where the tool head has to engage and disengage the print, and this usually leaves little tiny strings that tend to build up on the nozzle. Using the Maker World release of Steinwipe, download this 3MF pack, click the add box. After you unzip this pack, you'll have a folder containing two profiles, one for the X1 and one for the P1 printers. Open the appropriate profile, import your model, and then after you slice, you're going to navigate the layer slider until you get to the point where you know that you want to have a wipe cycle. In this case here, I always want to run a wipe cycle on the layer just before the top layer. So I'll right click here and I'll say add custom template. And I'll do this for every layer that I want a wipe cycle. Now I have all of my wipe cycles assigned. I just go and re-slice this model. We go over to travel and turn that on. Now we can see each wipe cycle. Now we just send this to the printer and all is good. There is another way that I've come up with to go about doing this. Let's say you're printing something like these base plates for Steintrack. Printing something like this causes the tool head to jump around a lot more, meaning you're going to have to run more wipe cycles. I've provided a feature inside the dev pack on Patreon for such an occasion. If we look at the Steinswitch documentation, You'll scroll down to about the 8th page where you'll find an automated feature that allows the wiper to run every new layer, every other layer, every third layer, or every fourth layer. In this case, printing a 12 by 12 track means long layer time, so we're going to run this every layer. We'll copy this. I'll go to the machine presets. I'll select the appropriate machine that's running at least April 28.1 from the dev pack. Navigate to the notes. And then I'll add a new line, and then I'll paste the Stein switch definition. After that, we can close this. I'll open the track mains that I want to print. Load my track profile. And just slice. And now you can see that we've automated this way to run wipe cycles on every single layer. And all we had to do was just add one definition. If you like the Stein track, we're a tray. You can pick it up here in my Patreon shop. Happy printing.